Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a document using iDraw. First thing that you need to do is create a blank document. Go over to the plus sign on the top left. And go ahead and click on that plus sign. That will create a blank document. Once you have created a blank document, you have the option to name that document by double clicking on the name. Go ahead and enter a name and hit done when you are finished. The next thing that we're going to do is open the document by tapping on it. So we're going to go ahead and click on that new document. Once your new document is open, we're going to proceed to change the settings for that document. On the top right, you're going to see several options. Um, go ahead and click on the gear icon. The gear icon allows you to change the uh, settings for your particular document. First thing that we're going to set up is what type of scale your document uses. We're going to go ahead and change this scale to inches. So go ahead and click on the gear, click on units and scale, and change that to inches. We use inches whenever we're going to be printing a document. We would use pixels if the document is only for internet use. Go ahead and hit back. Next thing that we're going to do is set the document height and width. Go ahead and click on width. And for our document, we're going to go ahead and put 12 inches high by 12 inches tall. So hit clear, put 12 inches, click your check mark, and then on your height, do the same thing. When you have set up both the height and the width, the next thing that we're going to do is set up our guides and our, our grids and our rulers. Go ahead and click on grid and rulers. And we want to click on show grid. Next thing that we're going to do is set up how your grid looks. So click on grid spacing. We're going to go ahead and change how big these rectangles, these little squares are. So go ahead and click on the X, the horizontal spacing, hit clear. For our grid, we're going to set it up to 0.125. So click clear and click 0.125. Click check mark, click your vertical spacing to 0.125, click your check mark. The next thing that we're going to change is how many uh, little squares there are between the thicker lines. We're going to go ahead and set that up to four lines between, um, four squares between lines. So go to where it says step and change that to four. When you are finished, hit back. At the bottom of your menu, you have the choice to show your rulers. Go ahead and click that so that your rulers will show. You should now have a document that looks very similar to mine. When you are finished with this, go ahead and hit back and click Save. The next thing that we're going to do is set up a series of lines that are going to help us to center our documents. When we are finished, your document will look like this. So go ahead and open up that document that we just closed. You're going to grab your line tool, which is on the left side. Next thing that we're going to do is we're going to change what color we want those lines to be. Um, you're going to go down to the bottom where you see your stroke color and your fill color. I'm going to go ahead and change my stroke color to red. The fill color you can live, leave alone. Um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and draw my first line. I'm going to locate six inches on my ruler. And I'm going to go ahead and drag a finger straight across. 
Now as I'm dragging a finger straight across, I'm going to add a second finger as I'm going, and that's going to keep my line horizontal. Go ahead and let go of the first finger and then of the second finger. You should now have a red line. The next thing that we're going to do is change the thickness of that line. Go ahead and click on the top right of your screen, there is a letter I. Go ahead and click on that letter I. That letter I allows you to change the appearance of your objects. We're going to now go ahead and change the stroke, the, the thickness of the stroke. For our purposes, we're going to keep the stroke at 2 point. So go ahead and put 2.0. That's going to keep the line uh, visible without being too thick. Go ahead and click somewhere else. From now on, all your lines will be the same thickness. The next thing that we're going to do is locate where 6 inches is on your horizontal ruler. So there are 6 inches right there. And you're now going to draw a vertical line at 6 inches. So same as before. I'm going to start by zooming out a little bit. I'm just pinching my fingers together. You're going to start at 6 inches. You're going to drag downward. And then you're going to add a second finger and keep dragging downward. When you're finished, let go of one finger, then let go of the other one. Now, if your lines are not perfectly aligned at 6 inches, um, go ahead and zoom in by pinching your fingers outward. Grab your arrow tool. And using your finger, go ahead and move your line until it is precisely at 6 inches. I want to point out that when things are centered, you will see this orange line show up. This orange line shows you that you have centered that line. Go ahead and let go. Because our document measures 12 by 12 inches, the center is at 6 inches. Um, those are called smart guides. A smart guide will show up whenever you are centering something. Okay, I'm now going to click on my other line. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click on it with my finger. I'm going to go ahead and drag it upward until it is precisely at 6 inches. And I know it's centered because I will see that orange line show up right there. Go ahead and let go. Okay. At this point, you should have an X and a Y axis on your document. The next thing that we're going to do is set up two diagonal lines in this direction and in this direction going from corner to corner. Go ahead and click on your arrow tool. Starting from the bottom left, you're going to go ahead and drag your finger and as you're going, go ahead and add a second finger and that will help you to create a 45 degree line. And as you can see, mine is not at 45 degrees, so I'm going to go ahead and redo it. It helps to zoom out a little bit. So go ahead and go across, add a second finger, and then keep dragging across. Let go of the first finger, let go of the second finger. That line is at 45 degrees now. I'm going to go ahead and pinch inward, and I'm going to make sure that the center of my lines completely intersect with each other. Grab your arrow tool. And go ahead and move that line until it crosses the center of all your lines. And you can do this by zooming in very close. Okay. I am now going to create another line that goes from this corner to this corner. Go ahead and grab your arrow, your line tool. Starting on the bottom right, you're going to do the same thing. This time, though, instead of making a 45 degree line, it will say 135 degrees. That's because you are going in the opposite direction. So go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Start here. And go ahead and drag two fingers straight across. Let go of one finger, let go of the other finger. As before, we're going to go ahead and zoom in. And we're going to make sure that that line precisely crosses the center. So go ahead and grab your arrow tool. Grab that line and move it so that it crosses all your lines. The other thing you need to do is check that your lines actually cross the corners. If your lines cross the corners, you know that you have placed your lines in the correct place. When you are finished, your document should look like this. The last step that we're going to do is to name your layers. So go over to your layers, which are on the top right click on that. We're going to go ahead and rename this layer. Double click on it. We're going to go ahead and call this one grid lines. 
When you're finished, hit return. Your document is now set up so that you can go ahead and center objects very easily by using this as a reference. Keep in mind that you want to keep your grid lines, you want to keep this layer on top of every other layer that you create. When you create a layer, click on the plus sign on the top right and make sure to move that layer below your grid lines. Click on it, drag it downward, and now it should be below your grid lines. For example, if I create a circle, and I put color inside that circle, I can now use the grid lines that are there to help me center things. As I mentioned before, um, make sure that every object that you create is below this layer called grid lines. I'm going to get rid of this circle, and I'm going to go ahead and save by hitting back. Go ahead and click back, hit save, and you should now have a document that looks exactly like this one.